so I am back. And today we will be sifting through all of this crap, trying to find what I'm going to do for my October documenting. I am obviously very late to the party, but I pulled out my case of Halloween stuff. And look, here's the thing. I've been trying to document October for years. This is um, October 2019. And that's as far as I got. I made the book. I put two things in. My son did this. And that is literally everything that I've done. So I may try to go back and add to this. Because I really do love this journal. I may go back and try to add to that. But there's a lot of stuff in this box that are specific, that's specific to this. And so I found these envelopes in my stash. And I'm just going to take one. Probably this black one since it's... Halloweeny, and I'm gonna build me a kit to go inside here because I'm either gonna do a six by eight album or I'm gonna do a traveler's notebook size because the only project that I have ever finished is this. And there's one Halloween spread in here, and I absolutely love it. So I'm thinking I might do something this size, and so that's why. Out of my plain card stock, I have pulled a purple, an orange, and some black. I don't know if the black's going to work, because I don't think it's quite... Oh, it might work exactly. I don't know. We'll see. So these I'm going to put to the side, because one of these will be my, the cover of my book. And so for now, I want to just go through all the things that I have and pull out what I know I'm going to use for this year's crafting. So I am going to put this to the side and anything that is specific to this, like this washi tape, specific to this, except this one, which I could probably use for any of these, but there are some papers in here that are specifically for this. So in here I have just a mixture of things that I've been picking up over the years from Hobby Lobby and not Hobby Lobby, Michael. So I have these faux tarot cards, which I might use. They are kind of dark, but I do enjoy them. So I put that. Then over here, this is just some printable stuff because I've made a um, Halloween junk journal that I have out as decor, which I've really thought about putting Halloween party stuff in. I have these bones. Those are not something that I'm going to use for this project this year. This will go. That's something my son did. This will go with that thing. I might use one or two of these. I don't know. I may just pull out a couple. Let's see what I think. Maybe just one of the orange and one of the red. I don't want to give myself too many. I can always come back if I wanted more. If I see that I'm using a bunch of those. So I have a 6 by 8 album from Simple Stories or Snap or whoever. And it's like black and white stripes. And so I could use that if I wanted to. Um, and I might. I don't know. We'll see. Those are a yes. These are a yes. I'll make a stack over here. The, this little treat bag is for sure a, a yes. I'm going to use that. I'm going to pull these stickers out. Both sets of these. These are just stickers from Target. Little tiny things and then bigger ones. And stars. You can never go wrong with stars. Um, these are hollow. So those are a yes. I'm not sure what I use these for. Like, it looks like I just cut it up and didn't ever use it. I don't know. Um, and then here's a piece of paper. The paper pad for this is here. And so it is actually very nice. I got this at Joe, no, Michael's when we went out of town one time. 
So I'm going to stick these inside there and I might, and I'm going to keep that out. These are just some more scraps that are specific to that book. I don't, these treat bags are not. I might keep one of those out. I need to go through some of this stuff. Like these, I can tell you right now, I'm never going to use these. So those are going to go in the garbage. Book pages, parchment. These are all tea dyed papers that I have stained for junk journals and I'm probably never going to use them. So I'm going to set those aside. These are all scraps from when I made that junk journal. I might use those in a different project, but I'm going to throw that away. I don't know why I'm keeping the stuff I'm keeping in these boxes. Um, this is super cute. I might keep that out. That might be something I put on the front of my notebook. We'll see. And you can never go wrong with glitter stickers. Why is there so much holographic foil? I think these came from Target. Yeah, from the dollar spot. Must have been a holographic foil year. Some more. I think these came with these treat bags. So I might keep that out. I don't need this whole stack so I'm just going to take one. I might keep those out just in case. Spiders. We'll go through that in a minute. Lace. Black lace. Some more things that I've got pulled out of my regular stash. This is really cute. I'm going to save that for a the junk journal situation. I might keep that. Okay, there's some hollow letters that kind of match those hollow stickers that we've got. And I know I have another set of those in my stash. Okay, so these I'm not going to use. I might keep these out. I don't know. Potion bottle stickers. Some more faux tarot cards. I don't know where the rest of that went. I'm not going to... Well, no, I'm not going to take those. I don't know what that's... Oh, that's... We went to Marie Laveau's and I just picked up a couple of postcards way back when. I'm going to keep the creepy cheesecloth out. I don't need all of those. Okay, so these two collections I have, this is called Halloween Town by Echo Park, and this is my mind's eye happy haunting. I don't think this is the vibe that I'm really going for this year. Um... It just seems, it's very vintage, which, you know, I don't mind vintage things, but I think I'm going to save it for previous years to document. This is going to be more my jam this year, I think. I really like these colors, and if I choose, I can really not, I mean, I probably need a darker purple, but the orange is perfect, and the black, so I think I might just leave that. This will be the collection that I'm working with. So I'm going to stick it underneath there. Now, these are all tea stained papers that I have made for my junk journal, as well as that little mini junk journal that I did for last year. So these are all in book pages, more tea stained papers. Some cardstock and printables. I think I'm going to take this one out. But for this side. And I love these ghosts. I'm going to take those too. So I think the main reason why I have never been successful. So that's all I'm taking. And these. I 
think the main reason why I've never been successful is number one, I'm trying to work out of a giant box of things. I'm actually going to stick this in there too. Because while I'm not going to be documenting this 2019, because it's 2022, I'm not going to be documenting that for right now. Anyway, I think the main reason that I've never been successful on any of these long documenting things is because I, number one, try to work with too much stuff. And number two, I never have it just sitting uh, easily accessible. This is the first time I have had a craft space that I absolutely can use anytime I want. And so I'm probably not going to be doing any of this every day, but it will be nice to have somewhere to go when I'm ready. That was my normal scraps. And so I am not an everyday documenter. I don't have time for that. I do think this matches this one a little bit. Not an everyday documenter. I don't have time for that. I'm working on a doctorate degree. And so I just, you know, maybe once or twice a week have a couple of hours where I can sit down and dedicate to scrapping. So we, I have my papers picked. I might use this for the front cover. I don't know. We'll see what other papers are in here. But before I do that, I want to go through, because this has all the colors. And this does have a little bit of a vintage color coloring to it. But nothing like all of this stuff. This is all purposely vintage, and it's just not something I'm into right now. And it doesn't all have to go perfectly. This matches that. I think these are from a... I don't even know. I got them at Tuesday morning. Oh my gosh, those are adorable. I think they're all the same. But... They're very cute. And I think I'm just going to take two. I mean, I can't imagine I would use more than 10 ghosts. Um, and the rest of these, I think I'm going to take to work um, and hand out to students. And same thing with this. Oh, he is my favorite. I'm actually going to take one out for my daughter. And the rest of these. I'll put in with these and we'll, I'll take them to work because I do like a little grab bag of stuff. I call them prizes of insignificant value and they love it. So put that to the side. Okay. These are really cute. I think I'm pretty sure these came from Michael's a couple years ago, but they're not really my, they, they don't really go. So I'm going to put those back in the box. Same thing with these. I don't even know where those came from. These match. Those are almost the exact same face as that guy. The, and then that sticker is super cute. These I'm going to put with that stuff. Same with those. Now that I might keep out. Okay, so some of these stickers are stickers that somebody got in a sticker pack and gave one to me. I don't know about them. I'm going to actually put those over there. Okay, so these are the die cuts that came in this pack that match these. But look at those little gems. Those are adorable. Keeping those. Journaling spots, spiders. These are giant. <laughs> these are all, these all came in one package. Gosh, I wish I could remember the name of this. I got it at Tuesday morning, I think. Trick or treat. Okay. These all match. I'm going to keep those. These are the little cabochon. I don't, I can't pronounce what they are. Oops. But they go like on the, like the front of that journal had one. A moon, a candy, all hallows eve and RIP. That's a little gold charm and then these are just little felt pieces which could go really cute on the front of a journal so I'm gonna keep one of each of these actually I think I might put what I am keeping inside of here 
and put those somewhere else because I'm keeping out more than I'm not. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm going to put these inside here because if I don't, then I may never pull this out to go through it again. This might be easier to go through. Those there, that little thing there. Okay. Oop. Literally the cutest. And I think those kind of match. They go have the same kind of color vibe. So these are the 12 by 12 cardstock element sticker sheet. I love it. This I'm probably going to put on the front of my thing. I don't know what um, cover I want yet, but I think I want this on the front. Possibly. And maybe a ghost. We'll see. Okay. So we've already seen this paper. Which is just a single-sided paper. I think I got it at Joann's. I wonder if this is the same collection. I don't know. We'll see. No, because it would say it. I don't. I guess I got that at Joann's too. So this one's called Perfect Pumpkins. A side and B side. Um, I am normally a B side girl, so this is really cute. I like that better. Um, a side and B side. Very cute. Oh, it is the same. Is that? Yep. I must have already trimmed off the branding strip. Because this is the same paper. I don't even remember doing that. That's how long this stuff has been in my stash. So, A side. Oh, where's the other side of that? I don't know. This one is called Bewitching Pumpkin. So this is the A side and the B. Um, Candy Fun A and B. Ooh, I love that. And this is journaling cards. So A and B. I really like that. Is that what I want my front to be? Okay, let's take, these are the contenders. Okay. So my plan is to make a traveler's notebook size notebook <laughs> and um, just fill it with white paper. So because I don't plan to document every day, oops, I am, uh, I'm going to keep this black out just in case I want to mat something because there's not anything that's plain black in there. Um, now do I want this to go this way or this way? This way. Um, I'm only going to probably put like 10 pages in the notebook. Number one, I think that will help me finish it. And number two, I think it will make it more manageable. And it will also keep her from getting too bulky. So in addition to this stuff, I have a little bit of stuff from Ellie's studio that I just remembered because I thought it's in up there. So this is from when I was subscribed last, the previous Halloween. So I have two stickers. This might be the, the collection. Maybe not. I don't know. I have two stickers. Or those aren't stickers. Those are stamps. And then I have this set of puffy stickers, which may or may not match. I don't know. This set of regular stickers. I have that in these that I pulled out, which I think I'm for sure going to use those in this. 
because they don't actually belong with a kit. And then these came in the Halloween kit, which I might, this does not look like Halloween. I might save this stuff for Project Life. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do is save this stuff for Project Life because I will have to document all things spooky in Project Life. So, and I'm not quite there yet to October. So I'm gonna keep these out. I'm gonna put these up. These are only the things I'm gonna use here. And so that's my kit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you on pause, or on, turn you off for a minute. I'm going to go through these papers and see which ones for sure will go with this collection. And if they, if there's not anything that does, then I'm just going to put that up. Um, and now future Michelle editing this video has, um, just popped on to say that I'm just sorting through things, rambling about my supplies at this point. But I am going to split this video in half and make a second part for when I create my notebook so that um, you guys didn't have an hour long video because I sat here for an hour this day rambling, sifting through things and um, trying to figure out what to do and then uh, created my notebook on camera. So I'm going to stop this here and make my notebook in a separate video. So come back and see that when it's ready. Okay, bye.